How was the trip? Wonderful. Plenty of room. That turned out nice. Yeah. yeah. Are they tame? No, they're not tame. But we're gonna put them in the luchador pen. You can tame them. We're gonna put them in there just to get used to us. Shall we move them out? My boot has mud in it. How'd you get mud in it? I was up trying to get it off on this. And the mud okay, well it doesn't have much mud in it. Uh, back, way back. I don't know what a muddy boot by myself. What about socks? Know where they are. Y'all probably shouldn't ride in the rental truck with your muddy boots. They're excited to get in the rental truck. never been petted before. That's okay. These are livestock, not pets after all. Phyllis was bred over six weeks ago. Didn't come in heat the next cycle. Assumed she was pregnant. Well, she was pregnant but today she's back in heat, which means it didn't take. Stud is all over her. On today's episode of Burn It Up Cooking Show from the Prairie Homestead book, homemade bacon. Five cloves of garlic, two tablespoons maple syrup, tablespoon of rosemary, two tablespoons salt, tablespoon of peppercorn, a Ziploc bag. We need to turn it every other day and drain liquid. Also, try number two at pork skins. Did this before and they became way too crunchy. We're gonna try boiling the skins. Also tried again to make lard. This time I'm pulling it off sooner. Haha, I think I got it. Boom. Now let's fry the cracklings. They're all soft and boogery like, but this will harden them up. Joe is here from Premier One. We saw our awfully mangled net right there and he's like well you got a kit i can fix that for you and so who yeah. better to show us than mr Premier himself Hi. you went all the way across with it you're not worried about fixing every single uh, one you just went all the way across not at the moment so i swear not and you came pretty far off of this too yeah i just needed a some meat to grab onto and then i'm gonna do another brass ferrule and you put the brass piece on there Yep. And so you're pinch it shut. Yep. So in the catalog, it's place it over the knot. Except in my field fix today, I am not, not too big. Not too. Yeah, I'm not making my knots you, all that great. You pinch one side of that brass fitting down. This calf. It's one, two paddocks away from mom. But still, 
And of course it's not on right now because we're working on it and it knows it. Now he's doing a vertical strand up, reinforcing this vertical strand. This will, that will just be doubled up. Well, Joe, that'll do it. All right. I like it. Thank you. You're welcome. I boiled the skins for two hours. Big difference. Uh, look, I've already just basically just can scrape off the fat at this point. Now I'm gonna rinse them and cut them up and put them in the dehydrator. I've cut them up into chunks. We're gonna put it in the dehydrator. I don't know, 100 degrees overnight. Boom! Fast forward. And overnight, and these things are rock hard, the skin. Let's give them a try. Our lard turned out great. Snow white, like it's supposed to. Let's use it to heat them up in. While we let the lard heat up, we've got a pan left over from burgers today. Let's sear the chuck roast in it. This is bubbling. Okay, I'm calling it. Three, it's like a little over 385. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah, One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, 13, 14, like other 15. People, but, yeah. Holy moly, Becky. Leave some in there. The one uh oh, there. I need something to put it on. Okay. Quick. Oh, wow, look at that. All right. That was fun. Oh my word. Mm. Put too many in that one. Oh you good, I didn't burn it. We've still got three trays left. The ones that I let go a little bit longer. Doesn't end up chewy at all. This carnivore popcorn right here. Mm. That's gonna be a Saturday treat, babe. We're gonna freeze the dehydrated ones. I guess they don't save well. Boom, I just couldn't be more excited. I know it's not your thing, but give it a try. I haven't had a pork rind since I was a little kid. <laughs> Look at that crunch. I guess you better not do that at the movies. Is it that bad? You're spitting no. it out? I just can't do it. I did one. <laughs> I just can't do it. Mmm. I love it. I it's it good is. southern Sorry. food right here. Oh. I just asked the construction crew if they like pork rinds. Ira's never had pork rinds and Seth said, yeah, if he has something to drink. So, let's let him try our pork rinds. And, Tyler, our neighbor. You like pork rinds? Yeah. I just made my first pork rinds. Are they good? Wanna try them? Yeah. yeah. Heck yeah That's my man. second round. This is the first good we round. Got... See if they're still good. Still good. Yummy. That's for her. More for you. You like it? Yes. Is that your first part, pork rind? Yes. Yes. Say thank you, Uncle no, Justin. You. Thank you got you. a. You're welcome. Fresh. Just salt on it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it at the movies. <laughs> <laughs> Won't sub for popcorn. It's kind of loud. <laughs> what do you think, Ira? The first time? That's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. You never had a pork rind before? Mm -mm. No. Do you know what it is? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I maybe wasn't going to tell you. I am North Carolina raised nine generations. These pork rinds mean much more than just pork rinds. Growing up in the South, uh, especially my brother, Appalachian child, redneck culture in the best sense possible, pork rinds and every gas station, eating them as a child, but I'm also on this epic health journey. For over 10 years, I haven't eaten gluten. Goodbye, biscuits and gravy. There are so much on my health journey, and now, as this carnivore, I have given up so much. If I were on death row, and they said, what do you want for your last meal? Biscuits and gravy, creamy dreamy grits, and some sweet tea. I may never get that again, especially from flour. Pork rind, something I've had to give up because you can't find it organic. 
You can't even find it non-GMO. Pork rinds are being reintroduced into the mix and this southern boy can have them. It's something from my heritage that I can now have and appreciate. And then I go share it with my kids. I, when I gave it to my kids, I thought, oh my, they might not like this. Well, I'll just make some joke about, oh, the kids always tell you the truth if they told me it sucked. It's loud. You like it? Mm-hmm. Tastes like popcorn. Oh, I like that. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna give that one to Lily. Mm. Well, there's more at the house if you want more. Mm. A lot more. Try this, babe. Yeah, what is it? It's a pork rind. You ever had it? Well, I know you haven't had one. Do you know what a pork rind is? No. Try it. Tell me if you like it, and I'll tell you what it is. This is pretty good. It's basically boiled, dehydrated, fried pig skin with mm. salt. Looks kind of like a snake skin. <laughs> they liked it. And that blessed my heart. That would have been okay if they didn't, but that was really neat that I could share my joy with them. 